wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today I thought that it was about time that I did another magical DIY and this one is just in time for Christmas. But you don't just have to do this for Christmas. If you've got any Potterheads in your life and wizards, witches and muggles that love this kind of stuff, it would be perfect for birthdays or any other occasion where you give gifts. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create these magical parcels which look like they have been delivered by Owl for the Owl Postal Service. Yes, that's right. These are so cute and honestly, I would be absolutely thrilled if anyone sent me a parcel which looked this magical. It even has has magical Hogwarts wax seals which I will be showing you how to make your very own at the end of this video and yeah I just thought it was such a sweet idea and this idea is so easy to do it's a really simple DIY once you've got all of the things that you need it is so much fun and as you can see each parcel can look completely different so that's just really enjoyable. So I really hope you guys are gonna like this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up. And if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family. And let's just get started, shall we? Because I know that that is what you want me to do. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna start off this DIY by telling you guys what you're going to need. And don't forget at the end of this video, there's gonna be a mini section on how I made my very own Hogwarts wax seals. They are the perfect touch for any magical parcel. So let's get started. Firstly, you will need some brown parcel paper. You will need your gift that you want to send via our post. Some scissors and some sellotape. Some printable sticker paper. A roll of brown string. Some magical Hogwarts wax seals, which I will be showing you how to make. And last but not least, and this one is optional, is a set of calligraphy pens. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, which is the super easy part, is wrap my gift in the brown parcel paper. And I'm just gonna wrap it like I would wrap any other present. Once you have wrapped your gift in the brown parcel paper, it is now time to start decorating. Seriously, this gets me very excited. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is the brown twine. Now, you can singularly wrap this around it, or you can double up. I sometimes like to do that because it makes it a little bit more sturdy looking. And you've gotta remember that the owls have to carry it via the string because they put it in their little beaks. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the gift in my brown string. I have estimated how much string that I think that I'm gonna need, and I'm just going to take my scissors and snip it off so I am left with a singular piece of string. And I'm gonna start on the top, like so, and then flip it round. And then I'm just gonna get both ends and put one underneath the other one, kind of like a shoe shoelace. So it should look like that on the back. And then we're going to go round to the other side, which is the top and do the same thing, except this time I might do a double knot in the middle just to keep it in place. Now I'm gonna go around one more time if my string is long enough, which I don't think it is. So I'm actually gonna keep it doubled on one length and just do a double knot at the back and then we are done. Any stray bits you can just trim off because you don't need them. So this is what my gift looks like with the string, which is super cute. Now is the time to do the decorating with all of the owl postage stamps, stamps from the Ministry of Magic and your postage labels and your owl stamps and loads of things like that. And I have gone ahead and designed a sticker sheet of my own. And if you guys would like to get hold of it, there will be a download link in the description so that you can get hold of them too and just use the ones that I have made. So this is what my sticker sheet looks like. Um, you've got via our post, please fly this too and then you can put your address on here. And I've got three our post stamps 
a little stamp that says that this package is charmed. I've got a little banner that says, please feed owl upon delivery. And then under there is a Ministry of Magic approved stamp. And there's a little sticker that says packed by elves. And the final one shows that it is being delivered by the owl post service. So yes, definitely go and check the description down below if you would like to get your hands on this. And then you just simply print it on your sticker paper. And sticker paper just goes through normal printers. But with my printer, I did have to make sure that it was upside down as I put it in. Just be aware of what side your printer prints on. <laughs> So yes, just grab your scissors and cut all of the stickers out. So these are all of my stickers which I have pre-cut because I am very prepared. I know this is almost like Blue Peter, one that I made earlier. And the good thing about this sticker paper is you don't need any Pritt stick, you don't need any glue. You can simply peel off the backing of each of the stickers and they will stick straight onto your parcel. So I'm going to start off with my outpost one with my delivery address where that's going to be and I think I'm going to stick I like to stick that in the lower left corner so there we go that is how easy it is to stick on these labels it's so cute I want to do all of my future wrapping like outpost it's so exciting I everyone that sends me things in the future if you'd like to make them outpost style that would make my day. And the positioning of your stickers is entirely up to you. You can put on as little or as many as you like. And don't forget that your parcel has more than one side. So I like to put mine around the edges as well. So it looks really cool when you receive it. So yeah, just have fun with it because this is such a fun DIY. I love it so much. Um, one of my favorite stickers of them all is the Owl Postal Service one and yeah, it's so awesome! One of the cool things about these parcels is they can look completely different every time. The stickers will be in different places and if you have smaller parcels, they can be printed out smaller so that they can suit different sized gifts. So, this is my Owl Postal Service box and I think I'm going to put that in the right hand corner on the top. One of my favourite stickers is this one which says charmed because it just adds that little bit of magic to the parcel because you know that it's been charmed by magic and it's instead of the fragile stickers so yeah that's definitely one of my favourites and I think I'm going to put this one at the top over here by the edge. The next one that I'm going to put on is Please Feed Owl upon delivery because, you know, they have been working hard. And don't forget, you can slip your stickers underneath the string. And I'm going to put that one next to the Owl Postal Service just so it's obvious that you need to feed your owl on delivery. And then I have these cute little owl post stamps. Uh, if you are actually going to send these parcels to people, just make sure that you don't put them in the top right hand corner where you would put your real postage stamps because they might not get to where they need to be. So um, for this one I am going to put them in the top where you would normally put them because most of these I would personally hand deliver because I would love to see the reaction from my fellow witches or wizards when they receive this parcel. And I'm just gonna put two of the stamps quite close together. You can put as many owl stamps on as you want. I made sure that there was three on the sticker pack because if you have a big parcel, you're gonna need to pay more owl postage. So this is what my parcel looks like so far. And I have got two more stickers left and I'm definitely gonna put some of these on the sides. Next, I'm going to put my Ministry of Magic approved sticker on the side of the parcel. Um, Cause you know, every parcel has to go through the Ministry of Magic to make sure that it is safe to post. So there is one on the side and the last one that I have says packed by elves and that is gonna go on the front side. So my last sticker, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna just put it here so it's nice and clear to see who it has been packed by. So that is my parcel so far. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is apply the wax seal. So here I have got my wax seals and I will be showing you how to make those but I like to make mine in advance so that I can just stick them on with tape or glue. Now you can apply these directly to your parcel if you're feeling brave but if you mess it up then you've messed up the whole parcel and I would just rather not do that but it can look really nice if you put them over the string but I just 
just like to put mine randomly. So yes, I'm gonna pick one which looks quite unique, which I'm gonna choose this one, which is just so magical. Um, now again, you can pick where you put it, and I only like to put one of these on each parcel, and I think I'm gonna put mine I think I'm gonna put it near the address label. Now you can use different types of glue for this. You can use super glue, you can use a glue gun or Pritt stick, but my favorite method of applying these is simply to get a little bit of sticky tape and make it into a loop so that it sticks on itself. Apply it to the back of your wax seal and then simply just press it on and then you are good to go. So we are almost finished. Now the final touch that I sometimes like to do with these is to get out my calligraphy pens. Now if you don't have calligraphy pens, don't worry, it's not gonna make the parcels any less magical, but it is a nice touch if you like to go that little bit extra with these kind of things, which I do. So I got this calligraphy set from my grandmother. I don't know where it's from, but you can definitely easily buy them from places like Amazon, I'm sure that you can get cheap ones. Now what you can do is take references from the internet. If you go to defont.com or something, find a calligraphy style that you like, uh, type in what you want to put on your label and then you can just write it on there and try and imitate it or you can just freehand it, which sometimes I like to do. I am going to address this to probably Harry Potter because there's not actually a gift in here. I know, spoilers. <laughs> is it we have come to the end of this DIY it's so easy to do once you've got all of the things that you need to do this I mean most of the prep is cutting out all of the stickers because that can be quite time-consuming as well as making the wax seals which you're about to see any minute so yeah this is it ah I love it so much I wish that all of my Christmas presents were wrapped like this because it really does just feel so magical and it's such a cute thing to do if you have any fellow wizards and witches in your life if it's their birthday or Christmas or maybe you just want to get them a gift so that you can do this for them because it's a really sweet magical thing to do and as promised I'm gonna show you how to make your very own Hogwarts wax seals now if you are an underage witch or wizard please do not attempt to do this by yourself because it involves flames and hot wax and I don't want any magical people to burn themselves so yes please make sure that you have adult supervision if you are an underage witch or wizard if not and you're an adult witch and wizard then go ahead because it is so much fun and I absolutely love making these so here you go, enjoy. So to begin the wax seals, I bought a wax kit off Amazon, link below, and they're super easy to make. The kit comes with wax sticks, two candles, a metal spoon, and the Hogwarts stamp I bought separately. I also use a metal palette, but you could just use kitchen foil. Start by lighting your candle and pop a chunk of wax into your spoon, and then you'll just hold it over the flame until it's completely liquefied. Once you think it's ready, pour it out onto your palette or foil, and then it's time to stamp it. Press the stamp into the wax, which is really satisfying, and leave it there for a few seconds whilst it cools. About 10 seconds should be enough, and then carefully lift off the stamp. And the magic is done. Once it's fully cooled, you can then peel off your wax seal and you're done. So yes, that is how you make your very own wax seals. It can be so much fun. I really enjoyed making these myself and I can't wait to make some more in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and I would absolutely love to see your photographs of any owl post parcels that you create yourself. Um, yes, very excited to see those if any of you guys do make them. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, go check out my last one if you've not seen it yet. And most of all, Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.